There's some others I can't mention because of NG. I'm about to release some little, a little tea. We want to know your name, your occupation, and where you're from. My name is Raphael. My occupation is I'm a fashion consultant. I also do celebrity styling. I also cover for a magazine. Ooh, big time. Where are you from? Where are you located? Where are you staying? I'm, I'm staying right now. I'm based in uh, New York City, but I'm out here in Miami for Miami Swim Week. Now, in your industry, what has been the biggest brands you worked with or some of the biggest brands you've worked with? Well, some of the biggest brands I've worked with is like Coach, Michael Kors. There's some others I can't mention because of NDAs and stuff like that. But just know they're big time. So what kind of individuals have you worked with that you enjoyed the most? Well, the individuals I've been working with, a lot of like designers, like I like to see the creative process of how all the, uh, the function of everyone's brain. And yeah, but there's also a bunch of other celebrities I work with I also cannot name because of uh, non-disclosure agreements and stuff like that. If you were to give anyone some advice on how to make in this industry, what would you tell them? Go to networking events. Start talking to everyone. You may not know who you, who you meet, really, honestly, because when you meet that right person, that right person can really uh, lift your career as well as you guys working together in collaborations. And we always talk about that. It takes one individual to change your whole entire life. So like he said, make sure you're at every networking event and talk to everyone. Stop being so shy. Now, uh, tell us about your start. How'd you get into this field? Is this something you always wanted to do? Well, I always loved fashion. Fashion is in my blood. When I was packing for uh, swim week, I was like, how? can I stand out? So I kind of brought the New York flair with like asymmetrical blazers and uh, and then uh, I've been getting like interviewed all over like all over like swim week shows and like it's just been insane. It's been insane. And something we were talking about earlier actually how in Miami it's so hard to layer and if you layer you have to sacrifice all your sweat, all your tears. It's going to be so painful but it's worth it, ain't it? Yeah, it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. When when people start noticing uh, what you're wearing or asking you what you're wearing or like, ooh, like your style is amazing. Like uh, we wouldn't have think of like uh, doing these two pieces together, you know, like, you know, it's just, that's, that's just my style. I always... Uh, use my style to uh, to inspire men to wear wear more color. So if you go on my Instagram page, that's you know really what it what it is. It's like me inspiring other men and women too. Literally, kind of cool. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's so used to like the basic colors, the essentials, that they're so scared to add all these different elements to your outfits. But it's super important to make sure you're confident in it, ain't it? Yeah, you ha you have to be confident. Um, you have to be confident exactly what you're wearing, so stop wearing boring clothing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, what's a, speaking of that, what's a fashion tip you can give everyone? I, w I would say like wear what you're comfortable, but also look, uh, wear what you're not comfortable with. Go for that color, like especially men. Go for that color. Go for that a neon color, you know. Go for a yellow. Go for an orange. Uh, for women, just keep doing you. You know, we we all know you're gorgeous as hell, Ooh. and you know. We love that. Stop fearing all those special colors. Start experimenting, finding out what you actually love. Now, uh, what's one trend that you see that's been going around lately in the past months that you're like, yo, this is way overly done, or this should just stop? That's a tough one. I want to say um, skinny pants. Like skinny pants, I feel like it's a it's a little overplayed because why are you gonna wear something so skinny? You know, it's like it's a, it's hot as well too. Not saying it's Miami or whatever. Even in New York, all over all over the United States, so, you know, start off wearing a little bit more looser pants, a little um, flared pants. You know, flare Ooh, pants are in. Are tough. Flare tough. You think there's any place for skinny jeans? For people that don't know how to style. Ooh, <laughs> shots. Bah, bah, bah. Now, um, just for people that are looking to get in the industry, where can you say a project be ranging from in terms of cost? How much you can get paid per project? Depends. Honestly, like, I'm about to release some little, a little tea about uh, the consulting uh, industry where uh, if you have the experience, you know, people would pay, like, pretty good, pretty big money for just for your experience. I, want, I would say around like 500 to about like 1500 uh, per session styling uh, it's different everybody's different it also comes down to experience as well but um, a lot of people pay by like outfits or hourly so what are the pros and cons of being a stylist and a consultant a lot of people are closed-minded since people are hiring you you want your creativity to be shown at 
either red carpet or whatever but I just feel a lot of people should be more open-minded if you're hiring a stylist or a consultant to help your brand grow you know there's a lot of different ways to grow your brand but you know just be more open-minded and how about the pros the pros the pros you get to work with a bunch of people get invited to a lot of events of course you get paid as well meet different uh, walks of life you're never working you're not working for somebody you're working for yourself <laughs> that's important. really is that's really important now in the industry right as a consultant as a stylist how does that work actually you know do you have someone on call do you have your shoppers how's that process go about uh, well for me as as a consultant it's basically a word of mouth if I work with someone and they like the way that I consult they'll maybe introduce me to another designer or another friend same thing with styling this world is very small everyone like almost like knows each other if if they Absolutely. don't know each other like you really go go get to know each other with in different events and whatnot you know? awesome and just a little little tease for the people what's the next move what are you trying to do next do you have any projects on the way do you have anything in mind that you want to do well as as a celebrity stylist I feel like my next goal is I want to be able to style royalty because it's always like so glamorous I'm talking about like the, the younger the younger generation of royalty older generation I feel like they have their own tradition where they have to stick by that's really one of my my biggest goals and my dream is to like hopefully uh, style royalty now give us like a dream collab in terms of brands and people that you want to work with I really want to style Beyonce uh, somebody like that's like pretty big up there and being able to like also like style Jay-Z something like that I'm gonna keep reaching you know hopefully one day you no know, it will happen not one day uh -huh. I'm sorry. it uh -huh. will happen manifestation that's it royalty will happen. right there you always in my head you try to not use try or uh, or if I always say yes it will happen or when it happens or when it happens absolutely and something you want to leave to the people anyone you want to thank any advice you want to tell them out there and advice I want to tell people like just like don't stop just keep going like always go um, the extra mile for somebody never know what that's gonna take you absolutely and guys it's getting super hot out here we got sports illustrated tonight and we're gonna see you guys out there peace